Day to combat the rise in retail theft, one of the groups involved, the California Asian Chamber of Commerce, said the rise in crime, especially coming out of the pandemic, is just adding insult to injury. Political reporter Morgan Reiner joins us right now. Morgan, what are they asking for? The campaign says they plan on meeting with lawmakers in order to educate them on a proposition they say is in part to blame for the rise in retail theft. But there have already been several bills introduced on this exact topic, and none of them are moving forward. Uh, we represent over 800,000 Hispanic business owners and small business throughout California, and we are proud to announce that we are part of the Californians Against retail and residential theft. Otherwise known as CART. May is API Heritage Month. You know, our, our communities and our people are being targeted and, uh, and it's, it's an insult to injury as we go through now out, out of this pandemic. Superior Grocer said their 47 stores in California get hit at least 200 times a day. That's 1,400 times a week. They played some of the surveillance videos where you can see people casually walking out of stores with carts full of goods. And what bothers me more is the tail end that you didn't see is that our employees approach them and ask them for a receipt or something else, which leads to further altercations. It's causing a safety hazard in our stores. They believe Prop 47 is in part to blame. That's the proposition voters passed to make anything that criminals steal valued at less than $950, a misdemeanor instead of a felony. But the legislature has blocked all bills that aim to repeal or modify it. It's as if the legislature doesn't know what's going on in their own neighborhoods. While CARTS as a group said they won't pick up political position, they believe part of the solution lies within district attorney's offices as well. I think some of this can go back to upcoming elections as well. Uh, I mean, we do have a you know a number of district attorneys in some larger cities that have absolutely refused to prosecute these crimes. Um, you know, we have to be more aware of what of, of what we're voting for. So the big picture of this campaign is education. But even if the legislature does pass anything on Prop 47, it still needs to be handed back down to the voters. Yeah, and those business owners still want some answers and some support. Morgan Reiner reporting for us. Thanks, Morgan.